Hi, this is Hannah at Serif. Today I've put a short video together for you to show you just how to turn your images into black and white images using a couple of different methods. Um, it's really easy in Photo Plus. If you've not used the product before, we've actually got a how to tab over here, which um, takes you through each step of um, anything you want to do in Photo Plus, really. It's a really helpful tool. Um, specifically if, if you're new to it but um, we do have an adjustment studio here which is actually a black and white studio so it's dedicated um, to helping you learn about how to um, turn your images black and white there's lots and lots of different ways to do it um, dodging and burning for example and the how to tab won't only just tell you how to do it but it'll, um, it'll go into great detail and it'll actually um, do it for you if you're still not not sure of how to do it so it's really really clever so um, so yeah that's the that's the how-to tab just if you if you're not sure but today um, I'm going to show you let's just open up my original image here so this is the original image of the field I took and um, the first adjustment I'm going to show you which is over here in the adjustment panel um, is black and white film which if I click it does exactly what it says on the tin and it's turned the image black and white straight away and put up these sliders these red orange yellow green cyan blue and magenta uh, sliders to be exact which if you play around with them and you'll see um, the image changing as I move uh, the orange slider there um, so you can actually be quite specific about the areas you want to change because these channels are all available to you um, so I'm gonna make this I want this to be quite a moody image so I'm going to make it quite dark in areas. Put that one up here. Okay, so there we go. I think I'm about happy with that. Um, the other option you've got here on the black and white adjustment down here is a tint tick box. So if I click on that as you can see, what that's done is added a lovely um, tint to my image. Um, and you can alter that as well. There's a hue slider here. At the moment, it's set on an orangey hue um, to give a, a sepia tone. But you can choose anything you like, really. Um, so it goes right up here to a, a purpley red color all the way through. So I'm going to leave that on um, this sort of sepia tone to give it an old, old fashioned look. And then you've got a, a saturation slider underneath that. Um, which allows you to precisely control um, saturation, uh, which I'm happy with about there. So the other good thing to mention here is that you can play around with all of these things and think, oh, I've done the wrong thing. I really want to go back a stage. Um, but Photo Plus X5 works with layers. So um, all of the adjustments you make are actually non-destructive. And if you look down here, you can actually switch that off whenever you want to and you're back where you started so it's a really safe way um, to work so yeah that's it's as simple as that really that's the, that's the black and white film adjustment that you can use um, I'm going to show you a, a different one now with this other image um, of this dilapidated looking shed so the other way to make an image black and white that I enjoy using is the gradient map adjustment. So if you click on gradient map here on the adjustment panel, straight away the image goes to black and white. So if you click up here on this block of, uh, of the gradient, you can actually modify that gradient. Brings up a pop-up box here. And with these sliders, you can just see if I move that along here, that changes the, uh, the density of the image quite dramatically. Uh, so this controls the the black and then the lightness over here as well. So you can play around with those similarly like you can with the adjustments within the black and white film. So again, I want this to be quite a quite a, a dark image. So I'm happy with that. I click OK. And um, that, that's really nice. But another thing to mention um, with Photo Plus, within the layers section down here, is the opacity. Um, so at the moment, our gradient map is set to 100% opacity, which means we can see 100% of that layer. So you can actually change that if you click on it. There's a slider where you can bring the opacity down. So if I bring it right down here, you see the color comes back into the image. As I go back up, the black and white, black and white 
just creeps back in here. Now what I really like about this is that you can create a really old looking photo with sort of muted faded colours. Um, so it's on something like 87%, yeah that's really nice. So you can still see some of the colour here but it actually looks like a, a really nice aged photo. So that's the other way to make your images black and white is by using the uh, the gradient map. So two really easy ways uh, to change your images into something different. Why not have a go yourself? Um, it's really easy and if you get stuck just use the how-to panel. Good luck and uh, thanks for watching.